YouTube, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto, and today I got a special video for you guys to watch. It's about this 70 year old bodybuilder who continues to train and continues to adopt fitness into his lifestyle. This is where I want to be at when I'm 70 years old. I do not want to be on a wheelchair, I do not want to be using a cane, I don't want anybody to be helping me walk. All right. This is where I want to be at when I'm 70 years old. This is what I preach to everybody about when you get old, man. It's not about trying to get the most amount of, amounts of muscle as soon as possible. It's not about being the strongest you can be at the, the fastest possible. It's about the journey, about taking your time. And by the time your time is over, you have gained uh, not only but a great looking physique, but a working one, right? Because if you aim to search for power now, right, your joints, everything might be damaged. In the process, not everybody gets hurt, not everybody gets injured, but the percentage is a lot higher. Same thing for bodybuilding, same thing for a lot of other things, right? So with that being said, go ahead and watch this video and um, go ahead and just leave me a comment, whatever you guys want to do. Alright, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto and enjoy this video. People ask me when I'm going to retire. I said never. I said more people die retired than they do on the job working. You know, so, I mean, I love it. I love to work. I love to work out. My name is Sam Bright, Jr. I'm 70 years old, if that means anything. Uh, I've been doing this for uh, 27 years. I started out when I was 44. I was in a bad marriage, and so to relieve my stress, I went to the gym. Didn't know anything about working out, nothing about lifting weight, nothing. But I went there, I stayed and stayed, and so 11 months later, a guy told me, he said, son, you ought to go to a contest compete, you know? I said, you think so? He said, yeah. I said, you look like you're ready. I said, okay. So I went to Columbus, Georgia. It's my first contest. Never been in a contest. I competed to get it for anything, you know? So I won third in the novice, fourth in the master. And I was just like a crack at it. I was hooked. I had two trophies, never won anything before, and I couldn't wait to get back to the gym and just start bodybuilding because I was just working out before then I started bodybuilding. People have the misconception that age make you old, but I realized that, you know, it's a state of mind that makes you old. Age is just a number, you know, and it gives most people, majority of people, a reason to be lazy, not to do anything, you know. So I hear a lot of people telling me about, wait till I get their age. And then I tell them how old I am, and then, you know, it's kind of embarrassing, you know. But I tell them that to make a point, you know, that the inactivity, you know, and the thought process is what make them old, you know. So if you think about your subconscious mind with your conscious mind, you know, if you start thinking your old subconsciously, your conscious mind take a hold of that, then your body gonna feel that it's old, then you're gonna start acting old, feeling old, and you're old. So I, I don't believe it. I feel like I still let go out and dance. I can dance all night, you know, I mean that that's just me. You know. I really, honest, I never felt like I aged since I started bodybuilding in 44. You know, I don't feel no different, you know. I just, I just want to get them people to recognize me for what I am and what I'm doing there and realize that it can be done, they can do it, you know. And I just want to be some kind of model for them, you know, for people to see that, you know, a lot of people sitting down, young people. I've seen a lot of young guys older than me, you know, because that's their lifestyle. That's what they chose to do. Go home, sit down, and watch TV all weekend, sit around, do nothing. See, I can't do that. I cannot sit around. Nine, nine, three, three.